Hey, what are you doing here, man? What are you doing here? You see, you, you see all this I gotta do? You see this? Oh, I just wanna wake and bake, man. I just wanna wake and bake. Oh. I've told you we can't be behaving like that on camera. I'll save that for after the show. Go, go away now. Go, go, go. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, of course. If not, welcome to the channel. I have got a killer amount of sales going out today, and I don't want to be in this garage any longer than you do. So let's just jump straight into it. Starting off with Vinted. 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 Where do I start? Pfft. Teletubbies. I think they owe me. I paid £7 for a bundle. I think they owe me about four quid. Sold them for £11 on Vinted. Jelly Cat Elephant paid 50 pence, sold for £12. Emma, massively appreciated. Thank you so much. I'm always watching. Even though it's not her, it's actually Mike. But Mike Wazowski has sold for £6. <laughs> I've got all the labels printed here and ready to go. Because there's a lot. I say a lot, a lot for me. Angel has picked up the Ian Brown t-shirt, you know, with like the face made out of stars for 11 pounds and 11 pence. Some Angel numbers sold to Angel. Massively appreciate it. Woody has sold for Howie, 11 pounds and 11 pence. When I reduce stuff, I make them all the same number. So when you see that, you know it's been reduced. I've already shown you Trivial Pursuit that I picked up on Saturday for a pound and sold for £4.99 on Vinted. I sold. Some of that gaming bundle that I picked up the other day now starting to run through. £10 for this prototype figure. This is Alex Mercer. Laura and husband. Thank you so much for purchasing these. Laura picked them up. Her husband's grateful because now he hasn't got to spend a ton of money. I'm just assuming that he was going to pay for them. I'm sure Laura's an independent, strong woman. These JW Andersons that I picked up from Jamie Dodger's wife. Little bit of wear in the heel. I say a little like a lock for a trainer. But there's no way they are fit for the bin yet. There's loads of life left in them. And the fact that these are like platforms with curved edges on, I bet they're going to be absolutely fine for another 10 years. So Laura, massively appreciate the pickup and your husband can sit and relax. <laughs> Paid a pound. Sticking on the same theme of Jammy Dodger's stall, the one that you saw me pick some stuff up from quite quickly. Another reseller. Somebody mentioned in the video, although I screenshotted it before he could delete it. A local lad to me as well, Rob. You already knew that the amount of shoes you had was £14, and you said to the lady, it's about 12 would you accept 10 So let's consider. You think I'm scamming over two quid, Rob? I said it's about 12 quid. would you accept a tenner? She knows what she's got, she had a look at what she's got. If I picked up £15 worth of shoes and went, it's about three quid. would you accept two? She's going to know what she's got and look at it. Shut up! And you deleted your comment because you're a wussy. Wussy! But I screenshotted it already. I even messaged him and said, don't delete your stuff. There's a local boy. But anyway, I paid £10 for four pairs of shoes. So these owe me £2.50 realistically. And I sold them for £5.50. They are massively damaged just here. I'll say massively. Still, Somebody can still get laugh out of them. But I just made a quick flip. £5.50. Flipped them the same day. Shut up, Rob. The Nintendo DS that I picked up, I paid £45 for a bundle. I've sold the Nintendo DS for £22. Had to put my own charger with it. And I've sold the PSP for £45.99. And I had to put my own charger with it. So I'm well into profit on the bundle already. And I've still got games and a few other bits to sell. Big thank you to Christopher. He picked up the Red Faction Gorilla figure for £12, I think. He sent me an offer of £10 and I declined it. And I re-offered with £12. And then he sent the message letting me know he was like watching the channel and stuff. Should let me know first, bro. Probably would have accepted the tenner, but I appreciate the extra two quid. It all helps. Me and Tim have gone back and forward last night and this morning trying to organise a deal because I had this as one listing and I had this with two others as a separate listing. Obviously, he knows that the Sane label is helping this one. I think it sells for about 20 quid on its own. Can go for 23. This is the fourth plush that Rob accused me of trying to steal at a car boot sale when I put him right and said, actually, as you can see here, it's actually one plush. It's just Luigi riding Yoshi, you knob. Obviously, the variance between 18 and 25. And this sells for between 12 and 20. But I did him a deal. Done both, so I split the listing up, re edited it slightly to add them both together, and he's bought them both for £20 all in. Thank you very much, Tim. Massively appreciate that, mate. Ray Ban sunglasses. These were my own. I say my own. Whenever I buy things, I say, oh, I'll have that. I'm I know for a fact I'm going to wear it for a while and then sell it. 
So everything I buy is always going to be sold, but I get to use it for a while myself first. Some Ray-Bans. They're not on Vinted, but I picked these up from Graham. Graham Scotland. I haven't spoken to him for a while, to be fair. I hope he's doing all right. I paid £25, I think, for these last summer or the summer before, and I barely wear them anymore. So I sold them on Vinted, 50 quid. Graham, massively appreciate you. And whoever purchased these, I don't think you watched the channel. I massively appreciate you too. We've sold the huge Funko Pop. I don't really want to get it up, to be honest. That is sold to Joseph. Joseph, massively appreciate you. I sold that for £12. And the Yan Van has to be up there, which is going to Tom Williams. I still haven't sent it out yet. I've been mega busy. Tom said, take your time. And to be honest with you, I have. So Tom, massively appreciate you. He paid £10 for that through um, bank transfer. So I'll get about two quid out of it. And of course, Stinky Pinky has... Yeah, sorry, bro. Stinky... Pink Panther has gone. Sam's picked this up. Sam saw it and said, I want it. I had it listed for like 35, I think, on eBay or something. I said, I'll go and take the listing down now and you can have it for a £20 posted. So Sam, massively appreciate you. And Pinky will be on his way to you shortly, won't you? Are you happy to go and see Sam? Are you going to miss me? <laughs> Whatever. So unless I'm missing anything, that is the Vinted. And I want to get it all packed up. So I'll get that packed and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at eBay. Thank you to everyone who purchased so far, whether you watch the channel or not. Just putting it out there into the universe. I was just sitting here packing, thinking, oh my God, I'm running out of bubble wrap. It's getting low. And look who turns up. Go on, son! It doesn't look like the bubble wrap is on the lorry. Just gonna have to let him figure it out. Carry on with my packing while he's doing that. Oh, hey! Yeah, that is looking good. <laughs> yeah, it's falling down. Everything. It's because you have so much stuff, you can't. It happens, isn't it? Yeah, it happens. It's because size drops. Yeah. It'll be easy. Dish, dish, yeah. Oh, fuck's sake, it'd be wet. Of course. Hello. Enjoy it. On the screen? No, it's no? okay. Yeah. Refresh, you know, it's always working. Beautiful stuff. Have a nice day. You too, my friend. Take care, mate. Phew. Right, I'm still picking my orders. I can't find something, but I'll be back to you shortly. I still haven't quite finished fully packing the vintage stuff. I've done most of it. I've got one, two left to go, and Tom's puzzle, which is half packaged. But we're going to move straight into eBay now. I'm so glad that bubble wrap's arrived because I've got some stuff here that's going to need a lot of bubble wrap. Start from the bottom of the shelf. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't need to be packed today, so I won't show it in today's video. Ignore that. But stay tuned for the next one. For grand, I do all my eBay sales in grand totals. So with these, I'm going to need to deduct shipping. Fees and postage. Shipping fees and Shipping the postage is the same thing. <clears throat> all of my items are all in. Okay. I paid £4. These Lecky walking stick have sold for £61 and 29 pence all in. Nope. £61 and 98 pence all in. This is not getting off to a good start, is it? Too much excitement with that bubble wrap, you see. The first pair of these speakers have gone. So now these are gone. What I will do is duplicate the listing and re-upload for a second pair down there. In fact, I've got two more pairs down there. Jesus Christ. I paid £10 for them all. I've sold one pair so far for a grand total of £37.99. Lovely job, Lou. That Wii motion sensor box that I picked up, I added a controller to it and sold it for £17.99. Maggie Thatcher, the nutcracker, paid £2, sold it for... 17 pounds all in if this was boxed you could be looking at nearly 50 pound the dvd player that i paid 10 pound for from a charity shop has sold for 33 pound and 44 pence i think 33 pound and 24 pence decent the baby monitor that i paid eight pounds for from the charity shop has sold for 18 pounds and a few pence four pence Disney Peter Pan and Nana the Dog paid £4 for this one, sold for £28.99. Woof! Vintage Rowney oil paint set. This has been used, but there's still plenty left, and all of the 
oils are still very malleable. One pound pickup from a car boot sale, I think, probably less than that to do the bundle. Sold for twenty-eight pound and forty-nine pence. And last but not least, I want to give a big, 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 big shout out to John. Shit. It's okay. It's still fine. I'll show you. Bing. So I dimmer just here, so you can go low, off, high. John has picked this up from me and sent me a message basically saying he loves the channel and thank you. But he also mentioned that these are £12 to buy brand new and he still made the purchase from me of over £19. I didn't know they were £12 brand new. I just thought there was a cool, I knew they were modern, but I just thought there was like a cool looking thing. I didn't really find a price on it. So I just went £17.99, I think, or something like that. can't remember with postage. But yeah, John, massively appreciate that. So he didn't have to do that. Definitely not, especially if you can buy them for £12 brand new. But I do appreciate your kind gesture and I take it as a way of supporting the channel. So John, massively appreciate you, brother. That'll be on its way to you ASAP. I've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of packing to do today. There is a few more sales that I need to do, but they don't need to go out today. So I won't because I'm already feeling a little bit overwhelmed this morning because I haven't had any breakfast on the video. Oh, poor me. And it is Tuesday. Didn't do no packing yesterday and I feel really weird. Normally I do all my weekend packing on a Monday. But I noticed that I still had a day left before I had to do any. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work. So I just worked the other side of the job, you know, photographing, listing, testing, cleaning, all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, massively appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye. Bye.